بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد عاصم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین یوز اے گیٹ کرپٹ فار یور ریپوزیٹریز دا پرپز آف یوزنگ دا گیٹ کرپ از دیٹ فار انسٹنس یو ہیو ممبر آف ٹو اور تھری ممبرس ان یور ٹیم اینڈ واٹ یو وانٹ از دیٹ یو وان اے hide the secrets file or passport file with others although they are able to actually uh, clone the repository but they are unable to uh, disclose or uh, able to see that file uh, which you uh, which are going to be uh, encrypt uh, using the git crypt and there are a lot of uh, stuff with regard to the git crypt but a uh, lot of issues people are going to face uh, when they want to de deploy the git crypt so uh, currently i'm using the uh, uh, distro uh, this ubuntu 18 lts so uh, i also recommend to use the ubuntu uh, lts uh, and because the installation is easy for git crypt and it is working fine as well uh, as far as the installation with regard to the fedora uh, i have uh, given the details how you can use you can use the git clone repository cd to in that repository and uh, type make and then see the git crypt version so for ubuntu this is simple what we are going to do uh, is to install this git crypt and then uh, what I'm going to do is to clone my uh, repository uh, for this purpose I'm using GitLab you can use github or any other uh, services you want so guys I've uh, cloned the repository and I am in the in my repository you see and this is the repository learning GitLab. and now what we are going to do is to simply follow the step uh, steps uh, I have done uh, something uh, which is really useful for you guys uh, is to what you have to do is to follow these steps or copy paste these commands or you go to my public repository and um, copy these commands so um, I have installed the git crypt now I'm going to initialize it and then what I'm going to do uh, is to create uh, uh, this uh, hidden file and in these files I'm going to specify the file which I want uh, to be encrypted for instance let's say let me uh, let me create the git attributes file and let's say I wanna create I wanna uh, uh, encrypt the secret uh, SCCRETS secrets dot txt uh, dot txt file sorry and uh, I can use the star as well uh, with regard to the any files for instance with uh, txt file so uh, but right now I just wanna uh, encrypt my secrets dot txt file which is not even yet created so I'm going to create it for you guys secrets secrets dot txt in that let's say id is U and the pin is one two three. Now I'm going to save it. So this is the secrets dot txt file, and I'm also going to create one uh, uh, read me dot md file, and this file is going to be unencrypted let's say i'm calling this uh, let's say learning get crypt from 
passing. I'm going to save this file. So these are the two files. Uh, uh, let's see the now. What I'm going to create is to create uh, is to also uh, first of all create the GPG key and um, uh, before uh, creating the GPG key, I must uh, tell you that you should follow these steps. If you're uh, using uh, CentOS or Fedora, you should install uh, RNG tools. And now we are using the Ubuntu 18 LTS. We are going to install these RNG tools. What uh, these do is that uh, when you run gpg dash gen dash dash gen dash key, it is going to be stuck so after installing these uh, these uh, you will not <coughs> getting these uh, sort of you know stuck errors or something like that you can try that so I'm not going to show you uh, that's why I'm simply uh, setting this stuff but uh, if you just uh, copy these and run you will able to see that <coughs> the process not is not going to be complete so uh, even for the full featured version uh, for the Ubuntu uh, I'm going to use this one instead of um, <coughs> creating that so uh, it will ask for the full uh, sort of you know questions with regard to the what I want with regard to my key so I want um, version 1 uh, RSA which is default and uh, 3072 uh, is the default uh, 3072 bit encryption so I'm going for the 2048 uh, bit encryption and this v, uh, key will not expire and I'm going to say yes <laughs> and then I will put my username and also I'm going to put my email uh, address so uh, let me type it correctly so uh, you can put these details with regard to your uh, email and name so for comment I just press enter I'm not gonna put any comment here I'm going to press ok for OK uh, for O and then I will uh, give the passphrase with regard to this key um, it is going to check with the passphrase is OK so now then uh, it is going to create my key and <coughs> and the location of this is uh, this key is uh, in the root or uh, or in the home of your uh, home directory of your uh, Linux distribution so uh, this process is done what I'm going to do is to add this user which I've created so with regard to the user you can see this is the user I have created so this is the command I have run with name and um, uh, with the email address but you have to copy this first so it is not copied let me copy it again So the command is uh, git crypt add gpg user and in quotation marks uh, I'm going to uh, uh, put my username and email address you see two files changed and git crypt uh, is 
set up my username and password now i'm going to see the git crypt status in git crypt status uh, uh, you see currently uh, there are no file uh, uh, are encrypted so we want uh, uh, read uh, sorry secret.txt to be encrypted uh, before that what I'm going to do uh, is to uh, let me use this command uh, when uh, you see now it is encrypted uh, even uh, it is it is encrypted here as well so we want the secret.txt uh, to be encrypted so other files are not encrypted S read uh, me.md and other so uh, if you do cat you will uh, see secret.txt is uh, not encrypted uh, now what I want uh, you guys to uh, do is that use this command git create um, git crypt export key this is the a symmetric key with uh, which we are going to unlock our complete repository so what I'm going to do is to um, is to give this uh, key name and I'm going to copy this in my uh, in my previous uh, in my uh, previous directory so I'm calling this uh, key name as awesome press enter so let me show you guys in the previous uh, directory you see asim is created if i cat the contents of uh, this key you see this is the encrypted key so uh, now simply what i'm going to do uh, uh, also uh, for the version uh, uh, upgradation restriction you can also uh, put these uh, let me show this this is the git ignore and if uh, I'm going to cut the contents of this git uh, sorry git attributes so now I'm going to put this in a file uh, git ignore <coughs> excuse me so uh, I'm going to create this is not necessary step but I recommend you to also create git ignore file as well so I'm going to put this uh, content in git uh, ignore uh, file uh, git ignore is not uh, actually necessary but it is better to put these uh, uh, in that so I'm going to see the git status so there are four uh, files uh, including the hidden folder as well so i'm git use the git add uh, and now see the status now uh, you see hidden are not added now so i'm going to add the git attributes added and git uh, ignore file So if you see the git status uh, then you able to see the four uh, which uh, we are looking to commit git commit hyphen m learning git crypt So I'm going to change git push region master. I'm going to push the changes to my private repository. see the changes are now pushed hopefully uh, let me refresh the uh, learning gitlab repository 
it is private repository so these are the files which we uh, which i post so if i uh, click the readme md you see uh, you will see learning git script uh, uh, text and if i click the secret.txt you will not be able to see any text in it although there is a text so <laughs> what i'm going to do now is to go to my previous directory and i am going to remove this learning gitlab now i'm going to git clone my <coughs> depository git clone okay So <coughs> this is the uh, clone repository. If I care the contents of uh, sorry, if I care the contents of readme md, I am able to uh, see the contents. But if I may, if I care the contents of secret.txt, you see uh, it is totally encrypted. So um, now uh, what i am going to do is to use this command of uh, git encrypt unlock and <coughs> path to my key so if you want other users to uh, decrypt your file what you have to do is to simply provide this key to the other users so they will be able to unlock this repository so as i told you uh, i've created this in my previous uh, rep uh, this exported this key in my previous directory so it seems to be unlocked so you see guys uh, after running this command uh, previously i've uh, run this command cat secrets.txt you see i've got encrypted text and, and after running this command uh, with this key after unlocking the git crypt i am able to unlock this entire repository so uh, this is the way you can use the git crypt and if you refresh it uh, don't push the changes uh, still the repository is unlocked uh, or I should say the encrypted but you are able to see the contents of it because you have the key and you uh, you are able to decrypt it so uh, this is the git crypt status let me show you the status so uh, you see all the files are not encrypted except uh, secret.txt but after unlocking it i am able to uh, decrypt this entire uh, repository and able to see the contents in it so that is uh, it guys thank you for watching please like and share my uh, video with regard to the git crypt this is the very useful tool you can use uh, with regard to your uh, repositories um, uh, like in as i told you in your team you can share everything uh, with others but you can encrypt certain files uh, which you don't want to share so this is the very useful and powerful tool thank you guys have a nice day